Hi there folks, it's Matthew Seville here with SellerLounge.com and this video is going to be all about making your workflow easier. I'm talking about Adobe Camera Raw, Adobe Bridge, and the SLR Lounge preset system version 6. It is our best preset system yet and one of the most powerful workflow tools that you will ever come across for Adobe Camera Raw. When we created the SLR Lounge preset system, our goal was to make this a comprehensive tool that anybody could use for any type of photography editing. It is designed to help you shave hours of your precious time off the basic and advanced aspects of your workflow, while at the same time creating your own unique style that doesn't just look like the same 19 or 20 cutely named filter presets that everybody else is using. And if you think that sounds impossible to, you know, to dramatically reduce your editing time while also developing and fine tuning your own personal unique style, well, I don't blame you because it does sound kind of impossible. But we put a lot of time into carefully testing every aspect of the preset system as a whole to make sure that what it that it's intuitive and it makes both the pros and the beginners alike uh, comfortable to using it. If you're a professional photographer, then you'll know just how precious your time is and how much your time costs you when you're forced to sit in front of a computer doing things like color correction. Now, in previous versions of the preset system, we've gone with an additive or layered approach to how we organize the presets. What this means, in simple terms, is that you can adjust the final look of an image without messing up certain basic underlying processing that you want to apply uh, more generally. And then now in this version, version 6, we have created the ultimate workflow structure to help you differentiate between creating a solid foundation of color correction for each image, adding and adding your own personal stylization on top of that, and then only getting into advanced adjustments or stylization when necessary. Because, well, a lot of the time, if you're just proofing or color correcting your images, you'll be able to hit the mark with just a few clicks in the basic framework of our workflow system. Within the same workflow, with the same amount of clicks, you can achieve a punchy, vibrant look, or a cool, vintage look, or a bright, warm, airy look. And without messing up this foundation style, you can still adjust things like your base tones, your shadows, uh, HDR, you know, kind of impress impressive stuff. We've got a really uh, dynamic image here. You can see with just one click, I can see into the shadows, the highlights have come back. It's pretty awesome, huh? Or, of course, for portraits, you can create a softer look. No matter what you're working on, there is going to be a workflow for you. And like I said, if you have second thoughts about applying, you know, this film look or something, you can go back and change that without messing up the other adjustments you've made. So that's the basic developing framework. Foundation, stylization, and base tones. We just say FSB. This basic framework should get your images looking awesome right out of the box, even on a professional proofing level. And then if you want to go even further and create more unique looks, you can make additional adjustments, tweak your curves, or apply special effects. This is the advanced half of the developing framework. Uh, we just call it ACS, that's the acronym. And adjustments are for fine tuning your colors, your tones, uh, or color or black and white tones. Uh, also your uh, subtle details and things like that. Uh, making something really crispy and detailed or making it soft and gentle, you know. Then curves are for changing or adding a warm or cool or a black and white effect. So for example, I've got these two images here. This is a before and after, but this is just one of the edits that I've applied. Let's open it up and let's click full screen here. Let's open it up and let's play around with this original unedited image just so that you can see what I'm talking about. First, let's select a foundation preset over here and, and here's the preset tab right here. For every single image you process, you're going to want to select either a vibrant or a soft base uh, preset. So for here, we, we've got portraits, obviously, so I'm going to click the soft foundation import presets. I'm going to go with color, 
actually I've got some blues and a few greens here in the background so I'm going to go with color but I'm going to do a skin desat just because I have I have skin in the frame and then I'm going to slide down here to the soft stylization let's make it a bright wash and let's see you can see I can turn on the filmic look or I can turn it back off again let's move on down the line and go from stylization to adjust our base tones just a little bit I think I want the levels boost uh, I don't know which one I want yet but they're all right here so I'm just gonna click on these as you can see it's still really dark so now that I'm done with the FSB the first half of our overall workflow I'm gonna skip down here to the advanced section of the workflow and I'm gonna try just try, just try brightening it up now you can see I've got a really cool looking bright look here but what I think I want to do is I want to undo that uh, desaturation that I had going on here because it doesn't look as cool as I thought it would I'm just going to go with color plus uh, blue green kick there we go now that's nice and saturated again let's go back down to where was I am adjusting the exposure I'm done with all of that I could do a little bit of a brightening on the shadows maybe not too much dial it back like that that looks pretty awesome I could also check see I've got some uh, this is a really sharp lens so I might want to uh, soften it up a little bit just to give this portrait a little bit more of a gentle feel and there we go this within a few clicks is ready to proof right then and there but wait if I want to go even further if I had a if I had if I was out of the camera raw window I could duplicate this image and make a virtual copy I mean a duplicate copy virtual is for Lightroom duplicate copy is for Adobe bridge sorry about that let's just say for example what I want to do is I want to give it a, a stylized look I'm gonna skip past these adjustments and I'm gonna go to the curves adjustments let's try cool and warm those are right here as you can see I've got washes neutral neutral punches neutral mats I love the mats for this type of look you can see within a few clicks I'm trying out these different looks if I want to I'll just reset it like that let's try the curves let's try a wash something like that see how uh, very very quickly I can try out these different looks let's uh, try resetting it again I'm gonna scroll down here just a little bit more I love the cross-processing let's try the bright cross-processing the neutral cross-processing let's try the dark cross-processing this image works great in a lot of these different options so I might deliver one or two versions of this to the client and again I've done all of this with just a few clicks in just a few seconds and I would probably go even faster if I was uh, not uh, talking to you all and describing every every move I make but anyways the reason that all of this works so awesome is because of the ingenious design that our own very own Pi Jersa has applied to these presets the curves obviously as you might guess only affect the curves of all of these options and as you can see the red the green all of these different have all of these different curves have different applications or uh, curve points applied to them and for example the other presets may apply the HSL and the other presets might apply the uh, apply to the split toning we haven't even got to the split toning presets yet and this image is already looking awesome and done but that's how you get all of this versatility without interfering with your other adjustments is we've designed the preset system to interact with different areas of your editing and I tried to add up all of these different sliders there's you know there's three different sections here I tried to add up what all of these different points were and I lost I lost count really quick the, the bottom line is that if you were to try and tweak all of these settings all by yourself individually for every image it would take you hours just to edit two or three images literally and that right there is why we say that using the SLR lounge preset system will literally and truly shave hours of editing time out of your life because that is our goal we love to shoot and I love post-production just as much as the next guy and, and my favorite images I really have a great fun time editing them but I don't like to sit in front of the computer for 16 hours a day and I don't think anybody else does either so that, again that is why we've created this system and it's all clearly organized so that you know where you are and you know what you're doing now lastly before we wrap this up Adobe Camera Raw doesn't just have global preset options that affect the whole image they also have brushes for local adjustments and if I hit K or if I just uh, tap on the brush tool here you can see that I've got a lot of uh, I've got a brush here 
And the SLR Lounge preset system does contain presets for your local adjustments or graduated filters or radial filters. You've got burning and dodging. I could detail enhance, I can soften. Let's try a little bit of burning and dodging here around the edges because I want to uh, do a little bit of uh, a light and airy look here. You know, if I want to bring this up, I want to bring this up a little bit more. I'm going to click new, double down on this right there. Get a little bit like that. Anyways, there you have it, folks. Each of the presets that we have in our system has a very, very short descriptive name to tell you exactly what it does. Instead of, like I said, having a cute, fun name that doesn't describe what it does. Now, I don't have anything against those one-off presets with cute names, and they have a really cool effect sometimes. But they're kind of a one-trick pony, and once you notice that five other photographers in your area are using the same exact presets to quote-unquote define their style, well, then it's time to move on and develop your own style that is as unique as possible. Now, one more thing to keep in mind. This preset system is available for both Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. We're talking right now about just Adobe Camera Raw, which is Bridge, Adobe Bridge, and Adobe Photoshop. These are for the Creative Cloud or CS6 versions of those programs. But because the preset system is available for both Lightroom and Camera Raw or Bridge, you can have the same presets at your fingertips, fingertips no matter which program you use to post-produce your images. Or if you're like me, you use both programs quite often and it's just extremely helpful to have my SLR Lounge presets at my fingertips in both applications. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. We are extremely proud of the new version of the preset system. It's the best preset system that we've ever created, and we believe that you'll agree that it's one of the most powerful workflow tools on the market. We actually have to thank the SL Lounge community for a lot of this, for all the great feedback and input that they've given us over the years. And in fact, we've now created an entire section of our website dedicated to creating preset recipes where you can get inspired by others and share your own images and preset recipes, what you're doing to achieve this or that look. It's pretty awesome, so you should definitely check it out in the link below this video. Our community is always a great place to ask questions about presets, post-production in general, and of course, anything related to photography. To find out more about the SL Lounge preset system for Adobe Camera Raw and Bridge, click the link in this video or right below in the video description. And thank you all so much for watching. Take care.